Ever realize that an ordinary Alka-Seltzer tablet is chock full of chemistry? You see, these tablets are comprised of citric acid and sodium bicarbonate, or what's known as baking soda. Now, as the name suggests, citric acid will behave as a weak acid in solution. What's a little more difficult to figure out is the sodium bicarbonate. But that bicarbonate ion in that salt is what's known as a conjugate base. So bicarbonate will behave as a weak base in solution. In the solid form in the tablet, these two substances will not react. However, when you plop them in a glass of dihydrogen monoxide, or what I like to call water, they're gonna undergo an acid-base reaction creating sodium citrate, carbon dioxide gas, and H2O. That CO2 gas is what's creating the fizzing and bubbling that you'll instantaneously see, and what's responsible for that company's slogan of plop, plop, fizz, fizz, oh, what a relief it is. We can take those CO2 bubbles and harness them to do a little work for us and create a laboratory lava lamp. So let's do a little chemistry. To create my laboratory lava lamp, I'm gonna use a thousand milliliter round bottom flask. To this flask, I'm gonna to need to add equivalent amounts of water and oil. So since my flask can contain a thousand milliliters, I'm gonna add approximately 500 milliliters of water. To make it a little more interesting, I'm gonna add a little color. I'm gonna add purple and I'm gonna use watercolor paint. You can use food coloring if you choose. Next up, we have to add some oil to our lava lamp. You can use vegetable oil, mineral oil, baby oil. I'm gonna go with vegetable oil. When you do this step, you have to do so carefully. Pour it slowly down the side of your container to make sure you have the proper setup for your lamp. Now look closely. This is chemistry at its finest. You have the water in the bottom layer of our round bottom flask here with the purple watercolor paint and the oil sitting above it. You see, water is a polar molecule and experiences an intermolecular force that's known as hydrogen bonds. While your oil is a nonpolar molecule and experiences an intermolecular force known as London dispersion forces. Now, since these are different molecules that experience different intermolecular forces or attractions between molecules, they will not interact with each other. So oil and water do not mix. This is where the phrase like dissolves like comes into play. And the like they're referring to is the intermolecular forces. Not only that, but the oil is sitting on top of the water, which indicates that the oil is actually less dense than water. For a little added fun, we're gonna add some confetti. Finally, we're gonna add those Alka-Seltzer tablets. As soon as those Alka-Seltzer tablets get in there, that acid and base, they dissolve in that water layer and you start to see those bubbles form. As they come up through the oil layer, they create oil bubbles that drop up and down. Those CO2 bubbles are also moving that star confetti around in our lava lamp. I hope you've enjoyed using some chemistry to create a laboratory lava lamp and a little learning occurred along the way. Be well.